read the great classics, um, read the Puritans because they feed your soul so much, but read them slowly. Okay. Don't rush. I don't do it anymore. I wish I did, but when I was 15, 16, 17, that era, I would have a Bible open next to me, mm. and you know, I mean, I'm one cross one page. John Owen <laughs> will quote 40 <laughs> texts, right? I would look up all those texts, yeah, good. and so I would just marinate myself in Scripture as I'm reading, mm. and then I would underline in pencil and put notes in the margins. Uh, my dad let me do that with his books, and um, I still have those books today, and most of them, and. It's really interesting to see places where I put a question mark when I was 16 years old. Now I look at it and say, why is there a question mark? It's so obvious what he said. But it shows you how I was learning and growing and struggling, but absorbing. And I think that's the thing. You want to absorb when you read. So when I'm reading for myself and reading a private devotional material to feed my own soul, I want to read slowly. Mm. I want to stop while I'm reading and yeah. pray. Yeah. Yeah. And, and confess my sin and uh, praise the Lord and get down on my knees and get back up and read some more, mm. you know. And uh, so it's, it's more like a spiritual exercise. That's yeah. the way to read good books.